ਕਾਮ ਉੱਤਰ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਆ ਕੇ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਪਿਛਲੇ 7 ਸਾਲਾਂ 'ਚ ਐਡਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਵਧੀਆ ਸ਼ਾਸਨ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਆਮ ਬੰਦਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਨਾਲ ਮਰਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਐਡੀ ਬੇਸ਼ਰਮੀ ਦੀ ਹੱਦ ਤੱਕ ਇਹ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਪੁੱਜ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਮਜ਼ਬੂਤ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਅੰਦੋਲਨ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੱਤੀਏ mainstream media or the national media is not doing what they are supposed to do the national media is working in the economic interests of big corporate houses so that's why uh, they are least concerned about the genuine political issues media should work as a pillar of democracy they should bridge a gap between the state and the masses but the current media is not doing that that's why we need the alternative Trolley Times is a grassroots digital and print paper that was born out of the farmers protest movement in Delhi. At the end of 2020, thousands of farmers marched to the outskirts of Delhi to protest three new farm laws which they believed would benefit big businesses and put smallhold farmers out of work. Trolley Times was founded by Navkira Nat and a group of friends at the protest site. They started the newspaper to tell overlooked stories and support the farmers. They are some of the many faces who were pulling the levers in the protest movement's David and Goliath style battle against the government. In November 2021, after a year of intense protesting by the farmers, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the scrapping of the unpopular laws. Aaj main aapko pure desh ko ye batane aaya hu ki humne teen krushi kanuno ko wapas lene ka repeal karne ka nirnay liya hai. Vice World News spoke to Navkiran before the news broke that the farmers protest had been successful. to talk about life at the camp. In India, the media landscape is largely controlled by a handful of corporations, the majority of which reportedly have business and political affiliations. And responsibility to instigate problems and violence in India. This crony capitalism has damaged the relationship between traditional media and many groups who are against the policies of the Narendra Modi led government. Farmers are one such community. What was the problem that you were trying to solve when you founded the paper? During the initial days uh, say early December uh, when like the movement was quite new there wasn't any internal communication channel as such so we were facing difficulty in communicating within the protest sites so people who were sitting like 10 kilometers away from the stage they weren't able to know what's happening on the stage and vice versa and also the internet and the uh, network wasn't in a really good uh, shape so at that time we realized that we need uh, an internal communication setup or channel and uh, At that time uh, one of our friend he came up with the idea of having a newspaper so initially the idea was to start a newsletter for the internal communication only but later when we received that appreciation not just from the protesters but also from the audience who were watching the protest from a distance that was the time when we started looking outward when we received that welcome from people sitting in the diaspora also then we uh, started using the social media handles and it in a way uh, helped us in approaching more and more people what's your print run and how many people follow you on social media so we started with 1000 copies in the print format and now we are touching uh, 7000 on the other hand on so talking about the social media handles nearly 56 or 57k people are following us on instagram and uh, 11000 on twitter and nearly same on facebook and uh, we have a email subscription of nearly 3000 people 
the good thing for us is like uh, trolley rhymes is also getting translated in other languages that's like uh, beyond us because people from west bengal translated it in bangla people uh, translated in shamukhi which is punjabi in pakistan also we got to know that uh, somebody translated in it, it in french spanish so that's a kind of reach we are getting and people uh, living in the diaspora they got it print and then distributed at different protest sites which are happening uh, in the other countries in that way we we ourselves are not able to calculate it properly definitely it uh, it's beyond our imagination the launch of the newspaper was difficult On the 26th of January 2021, India's Republic Day and right after Trolley Times was founded, there were violent confrontations between some fringe farmer groups and the police. Some protesters have since claimed that they were harassed. What are the challenges of running your own newspaper in India where press freedoms are increasingly being threatened? We never thought about it before we started but uh, definitely we witnessed it quite closely because when the incident of 26th of January happened the state also tried to frame us in that particular case they also tried to press charges against us they started sending police personals to different houses to find me we know that they are trying to snap us they are trying to uh, express this movement but uh, at the same time we are not here uh, just as journalists we are also here as activists as protesters so we know that we have to witness all this although trolley times was created to bridge a communications gap the paper and platform built around it has widened its audience and amplified the protest message beyond the camp जो ट्रॉली टाइम अखबार है वो किसानों की पक्ष में है जो वो खबरें हैं वो दुनिया तक पहुंचा रहा है ये एक अच्छा जरिया है जो बाकी न्यूज़ पेपर्स आगे उनके मुकाबले में अगर देखा जाए तो ट्रॉली टाइम है जो वो एक अच्छी किसानों के बारे में बहुत अच्छी खास खबरें हमारे तक पहुंचा रहा है इसलिए वो जरूरी है सभी किसानों आंदोलन के साथ जो जुड़े हुए हैं तो सरकार जो प्रोपेगेंडा करना चाहती क्योंकि तब मीडिया उन्हीं के हाथ में था वो उनका चलता है काउंटर मीडिया जो पैरल मीडिया जो था इसने आंदोलन की हर बात को दुनिया तक मतलब लोगों तक पहुंचाया है तो इसका आंदोलन को बहुत फायदा हुआ है हाउ इज दिस प्रोटेस्ट डिफरेंट टू प्रीवियस प्रोटेस्ट और प्रीवियस जनरेशंस this is one particular movement where you will find a fine fine balance bit, uh, intergenerational balance we have older generation we have leadership people who are working from last many decades and at the same time we have young activists from colleges and universities for them i guess this is the first time they are witnessing such a huge movement on one hand the experienced people they are leading us on the other hand the younger generation they are coming up with different newer ideas to widen the movement or to approach maximum number of people what is it like at one of the world's largest protest sites during covid it's really difficult to sit on the road during the time of pandemic we saw the propaganda in like our national media that the pandemic is getting worse because of the protesting farmers why they are not going home and even few of the government ministers they also said that people should go home now i'm mean, like if the government is genuinely concerned about the uh, farmers then why they pass the, these three laws uh, during the pandemic what was the hurry Are you concerned with the way that social media has been polarized? Yes, that's our concern because people who are already like in support of movement they more or less know everything about the movement. So our main focus should be the people who are still not acknowledging the movement. 
as you said the social media is uh, quite polarized these days either you are getting trolls or you are getting support so there is no in between in that way there are very less people who generally uh, wants to engage with the issue or who generally wants to know more about the issue it's not just about the farmers but about each and every citizen of this country why this is also a students movement how gender is playing an important role in the movement how caste is playing an important role in the movement so we are trying to tell those narratives to tell the people that this is the whole story you don't like look in isolation and finally how important is trolley times social media influence to your cause Definitely it helped us in uh, achieving a worldwide audience because otherwise we started just an internal organ of the movement as an internal communication it was only after like uh, our social media reach that the diaspora audience started following us or they started looking towards us for the ground reporting so social media has a really important role in trolley times uh, presence and in what we are today and uh, it's also like very dicey space it has its own limitations it has its own concerns but uh, i guess that's that's the whole struggle to find a fine balance between these limitations and the opportunities it's providing us what's your hope for the future for trolley times we are hoping to carry forward it in future also because it's not going to end with this particular movement we'll stay as long as the struggle is staying maybe uh, we won't be there after like 10 years or 20 years maybe someone else will be there doing a similar kind of work so even then we'll be there as an ideology